We want to create a client portal. We're going to create a client portal where this tab specifically of all these tabs is going to be shown to a client and they can't have access to any other data on this spreadsheet. And we're also going to be able to get some notes back from the client through this portal. I'm going to show you how we are not going to need any app script for this at all, just a little bit of formula knowledge. So the first thing we're going to do is copy this spreadsheet to a new spreadsheet. This is only this tab. We're going to copy that sheet, we're going to open it, and now we have two workbooks. This workbook has our data, but we don't want to have to go back and forth, right? We don't want to have to update both. So we're actually going to delete everything in here, just the values itself. We're going to keep this formatting. We're going to call this client roadmap. And this is different than the client file, which contains the roadmap. So how do we connect this one with the original file? We're going to go up to A1, click import range, and we need a spreadsheet URL. We're going to grab the URL from this roadmap and a range string. We're going to say road in all caps, exclamation point A colon C, in parentheses. It's going to load and it's going to have a reference error until we allow access. And now we've allowed access, we see that the formatting all looks the same. In fact, I can change this, but you'll watch something will happen. Everything disappears because this array result was not expanded because it would overwrite data in C4. That's the exact cell we just added some text to. So if we just delete that, we see this is all from this roadmap tab. So if we want to change it, we go back here and say completed. And let's go back here and see it says completed. So we can't edit anything here. And in fact, if somebody would edit anything here, it would disrupt this import range. So how do we get some notes from the client back to our original file? We're going to sort of do the same thing. Let's insert a column to the right, and we're going to move it all the way over here. I'm going to delete everything in that column. So this is a blank thing. And notice when I added this text, it didn't interfere with this reference. It's only going A to C. So we can add this notes section in D. We can even format these differently a little bit so we can see these notes better. This D column does not interfere with a through C. So if a client wants to write some notes, great job. Need more reviews, awesome work. How do we get this data back to our original file? Well, we're going to insert a column to the right. We want it, we don't want any of that drop down menu. And we're going to go equals import range back from the original one, this client roadmap. Put that in quotes at URL and a range string is going to be roadmap as well, D colon D in parentheses. We will need to allow access here as well. As the editor of both sheets, we can do that. And now any viewer, if I want to share this sheet with any viewer, I can, and even give them edit access. The worst they could do is possibly edit something in the A through C column, but I can do something here, which is protect sheet. I'm going to protect this range A through C, set the permissions to restrict edit to only me. So now they won't be able to edit anything A through C, but they can edit the D column and add need this started. No. Let's go back to our client file and we see it shows up here. So now we don't necessarily have to check the client's portal. We see their notes here. We can edit these to do's to in progress. Oh yeah, we need to start that. And we can go back to our client portal if we want to add any more notes here or edit this in any way, but we don't need to edit this. See, they started showing up in progress already. If you're looking to do more with Google Sheets than you ever have before, and you want to get the best Google Sheets possible, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube to Better Sheets.